Hello, today it's Tuesday, as you might know. So, I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction stuff for this, so I'm going to explain it. Um, today is Tuesday, uh, I didn't have time to record a video, so I'm having to just rush, rush this through so I can record another one tonight for Wednesday, because I'm working on Wednesday. Good, we got that out of the way, so today is Tuesday, I'm recording this on Tuesday evening, uh, about 7 o'clock. I'm recording Wednesday's episode, which is tomorrow's episode, tonight, at about half an hour or so. Good, we've done that. Brilliant. Um, tomorrow's episode that I'm going to be recording will be a bit of preparation for this. Now, I'm going to be doing a video. His link, the link to the video will be in the description. And it will also be the link to the person who's made its channel in the video. In the description below. So, before we, before I bore you all, let's get on. And this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, well, I'm going to start to collect stuff for this video tomorrow. Well, the stuff for this tomorrow. Hello everyone, my name is Tango, and this is the Iron Trench. Alright, what you guys are looking at is a completely new, 100% original Iron Golem farm that is very unlike anything you've seen before. Inside this building are an astounding 32 adjacent villages that are overlapped and aligned in a straight line. And altogether, those villages are going to produce 1300 iron every single hour. Now, many of you guys have likely seen my previous Iron Golem farm, where I first introduced the concept of manipulating and overlapping villages together. Uh, well, this design, I pushed that concept to the next level, and I packed these villages in there even closer. And all the while, this design requires much less space than almost any other Iron Golem farm out there. Now, unfortunately, in my previous design, it was later discovered that when you use this technique of overlapping the villages together, that they will eventually merge together into a single giant village, which pretty much invalidated that entire design, unfortunately. Well, you can consider this one my official response to that problem, because after a lot of planning and a lot of experimenting and patience, I have solved that issue. In this new design, the villages inside will still be destroyed if the chunks are unloaded. However, <laughs> you really won't care. Because this Iron Golem farm is going to automatically reconstruct itself. It's going to detect when the villages inside have been destroyed and will systematically recreate all 32 villages and realign them into a nice straight line as shown by this mod here. And this is all done 100% automatically without you having to do a thing. And the reason we do all this automation is so that we can have an absolute beast of an iron farm with 32 villages that's just going to absolutely crush all other existing designs in terms of iron production. So, as you can see, I'm going to put that back in case the end, in case the video freezes up again and I have to record, re record this. Um, so yeah, if you are seeing that, then I apologize because it hasn't actually messed up and I've just said that just for the fun of it. Um, so yeah, what it is, is I'm going to be on tonight, when it's finished uploading, I will be re I'll be recording me getting some of the actual stuff for it, because it needs a fuck ton of stuff, a lot, it, it, it just boggles my mind, so I'm going to be starting the way of actually getting it, so yeah, um, today's video is basically me saying what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days in Minecraft, uh, basically anywhere after, anywhere from today all my videos will most likely be Minecraft apart from Sunday which will of course be fun day although I will hopefully try and get a Minecraft video out on Sunday as well and just smash Minecraft until the 9th if I can get if we can start to get some of the stuff done I will start basically 
basically I'm going to try and make a quarry if I can so I can start mining up a lot of stuff but at the same time as doing that I should be able to um, make a big massive space to build this on top of my base at the same time as the quarry digging out if I can't get the quarry I'll try and do everything manually just don't hold me to it it might take a lot longer if I do it manually and I shall make everything hopefully work and by the 9th I will have an update on what's happening hopefully all of the um hopefully by building it I should have all the stuff minus the redstone and everything else done for then if it isn't well hopefully we might get more done hopefully we might have not more done but we'll, we'll I'll go as I'll do as much as I can if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't oh well so yeah um I'd need to also get a village. I need to get quite a few villages, but that's something that we need to um I need to come across and do. So yeah, um, that's my little project all until Christmas. If I can get that done for Christmas, then the server should basically I'll basically say, who needs iron, and I'll do a delivery system for all that. I'll basically say, who needs iron? I do. All right, that's two diamonds per stack of blocks. So 64 times 9 equals 2 diamonds. I think I'm underselling there. But anyway, that's basically an example. Um, hopefully I should be able to... I'll go back to this now. So yeah, basically, that's what I'm going to try and do. And get it done before Christmas. If I can, Christmas present for me on the server. I'll be able to do a lot of stuff with that. And be happy. If I can't, well, hopefully before Christmas we shall have a jolly cracking structure I have seven subscribers I'll need to have a look at who they are because I've got more subscribers than I last checked but yeah um, I've got seven subscribers I'm poor I'm gonna go and cry in the corner before I do this next video so yeah um, thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow which is also tonight which will be the start oh grabbing my stuff so yeah I will see you all later goodbye